Dear viewers, this is a European Week of Action for Girls. In the same week, we are also marking the International Day of the Girl's Child and the 15th anniversary of the UN Security Council Resolution 1325 on Women, Peace and Security. It is indeed a remarkable opportunity to raise our voices and demand equal rights and opportunities for all women and girls, wherever they are in the world. But for me, fighting for women's and girls' rights and empowerment is not a one-week matter. It is one of my key priorities in my everyday work and wherever I go as commissioner. The task before us is huge, but so is my commitment. My vision is a world where all girls go to school and have equal access to health care and other social services where all women and girls have equal access to natural and economic resources, where they are equally respected at home, at their workplace, in politics. Why? Because women and girls are drivers of change and development. As I often say, no women, no development, no dignity. I am extremely pleased that this was recognized by world leaders at the recent New York Summit on Sustainable Development. The adopted 2030 Agenda is universal, with ambitious goals and targets for gender equality. So, this means it applies to all, and there can be no excuses for not acting. We all need to build on this new momentum. Education, equal access to resources and decision-making, especially for young people, are the pillars of empowerment. For too long, girls and women have been Swimming upstream, it is time to finally shift the social norms and break the vicious cycle of gender discrimination. That is why, on the European Union side, we are putting in place a more ambitious and outcome-focused approach to gender equality in our external actions. With more targeted financial resources and gender expertise to ensure its success, it will guide our efforts in working with partners. And we will ask each and every one of them, in every project, how it is contributing to empowerment of girls and women. I can assure you that I will spare no effort to find the best practices and tools so to improve the lives of girls in every community and to fight against all forms of violence against women and girls particularly when they are used as deliberate weapons of war. What we need are the most effective weapons that work for and not against women and girls. There is no time to lose to put our words into concrete actions and results on the ground. But we need partners to deliver better. Governments, civil society, international donors, entrepreneurs. And most importantly, we need you women and girls worldwide, as our key partner, to stand for your rights every day, strongly and vocally, like Ada does, a 23 years old from Senegal, whom I met today during the Plan International social media takeover at the Commission Services. And you can also help us encourage as many boys and men, fathers and brothers to support you. Count on me to lead the way. Thank you.